Hey everyone, welcome back to part six of my Create Mod series. Now today we're going to talk about how to build a windmill inside of this mod. So if you've already built the water wheels and the encased fans, you might not necessarily need a windmill, but a windmill might be able to power your entire system. So all of your machines or maybe the entire automated ore processing system or anything along those lines. So it's worth it to build it. It's especially pretty cheap and it creates a ton of power. Now, if you are looking for all of the power sources that are possible inside of this game, my next video that I upload, I'm going to talk about every single one, which ones are used for different types of machines or which ones are better used for different types of machines, excuse me. Uh, so if you're looking for that, definitely subscribe or the video might be already uploaded and you could just go ahead and check it out. You'll see the, the annotation pop about right now. Now, that being said... You might see the windmill in the distance. I can't take credit for this windmill design. The guy in the description named Fresh Joy is the guy that actually designed this windmill. Now, he designed it for vanilla Minecraft. I'm taking his design and I'm turning it into the Create Mod version. So definitely go ahead and check him out if you want to have at least the tower side built um, basically off of his YouTube video. So uh, I think that's basically it. Let's jump right into it. So if we open up this chest... This is everything you're going to need for this video. Now, the top row is everything you have to have, and then these blocks are just extras. So, the slime ball and everything like that, these 32 blocks of wool, technically you could have more, or I believe a little bit less, but I'm going to use 32 blocks of wool because this is the basically generic amount that you need to produce about 2,000 uh, RPMs going around the machine now that's a ton compared to a water wheel and stuff like that and i will talk about that in my next video but if you want to just follow along you only need 32 blocks of wool and you only need 20 logs just to kind of make it look a bit better uh other than that i have 10 blocks of wool and 16 blocks of logs right here these are extras just in case while i'm up at the top of the tower if i drop anything i don't have to restart the video or run back down and grab it that it's all right here and I'm good to go. So you don't technically need these blocks, same as the cobblestone that's just gonna be used to build a platform for myself and build up and stuff like that. Uh, you don't need that necessarily, but I recommend it just so you don't have to keep going up and down the tower. So let's first go ahead and grab everything here and we're gonna craft our windmill bearing. So right in here, it's a turntable, a piece of stone, any type of stone, and a shaft. Now, if you've never crafted a shaft before, you probably remember is it's just two andesite alloys creates eight. We only need one for this recipe. Uh, block of stone, and the turntable is one shaft and one slab, so let's craft that. And then these guys, we can just all combine together, and we've got a windmill bearing. The next thing is the radial chassis. So we need three logs and two andesite alloys, and it creates three. Uh, but we only actually need one, so we can throw these two back into our chest, and we are good to go. We're already going to the building phase, so let's run over to the tower real quick. Now we'll run up these stairs and everything. So once again, feel free to check out the YouTube video if you like the design of this tower. Now, right here you see a shaft is coming down with some gearboxes, or, well, a single gearbox. This is connected to the top of the tower, so once I build the windmill, uh, we can actually pull our power from the windmill all the way down. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I recommend checking out episode one. I talk about gearboxes, and I talk about uh, shafts, and just kind of how to pull power, uh, or episode one and episode two. I recommend checking those out. It will definitely help you in your building process. They're each, I think the first one's six minutes, and the second one's like nine or ten minutes. So I recommend checking them out, really short videos, and it will help you build all of your machines in the future. So if this is brand new to you, definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, other than that, let's head upstairs. Okay, so I have built up about, or built down about six blocks from where I want to place my windmill. So I'm actually going to break the outside here, and we're going to build ourselves a little platform. So just so if I fall or if I drop items, I can go ahead and grab it. So you can see that I have my little shaft right there. And if we go one, two, three, four, five right here, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, this is six right here. Um, that's how far down you need to build. Our next step is to take our windmill bearing and we're just going to slap it onto the shaft. Now, if you don't have a shaft yet, you can just place a block behind it and place it down. And then once the whole system's up and running, you can connect shaft to it. But for now, we're going to take our radial chassis. We're going to place that there. And we're going to want to slime every single one of these sides. Now, I'm just going to slime the first three since I can't get up top yet. But we will get there in a moment. Our next step is to place some spruce, or spruce logs, if I can talk, all the way down. And then we're going to place some wool like so now this radial chassis is going to allow this thing to spin just like how a window is supposed to happen 
Uh, and then we're going to build up a little bit here. We can place our slime ball now there. We can even move that out of our inventory now. Uh, and then we're going to build one, two, three, four, five. And I want to make this look very similar to how a windmill should look. So we'll see if I don't screw this up. Put five here. And then we'll place our wool like so. Now you're going to want to make sure that this does not collide with anything. That's why I've made it one out. So just keep that in mind as well. Now we'll even go one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to take some damage. Three, four, five, and one, two, three. Now we're going to jump and hope for the best. <laughs> Not the safest thing, Peter. Uh, there we go. And then one, two, three, four, five and then just place these guys down as well. And you can see I have the 10 left over that I had as extras, just in case I drop things off. Now, all you need to do is make sure that there is wool on every single side. Now you could have more wool and add more wool to this to create more power, or you can have a little bit less wool to create less power. You could technically even have wool only on one side, but it's gonna really spin, like and generate no power, uh, which is not, not what we're looking for. But now that we've done that, we could take our white concrete place that back and then we just have to head up here we're just gonna take that piece of concrete and it's gonna say update bearing uh right click with the bearing or right click the bearing with an empty hand to attach the structure you just built in front of it so we're gonna right click and now you can see it's spinning and it's generating power and throwing it all the way down so we'll head downstairs so i actually screwed up people so we're gonna right click to shut this off i never removed the cobblestone like floor that i made so it attached it to the uh to our system which is not what we're looking for so let's go ahead and break this i was watching cobblestone fly through the air i was like that's not what i'm looking for there we go cobblestone has been removed we'll release our concrete back we're gonna head back up top and we're just gonna right click to start this guy right on back up and then let's head downstairs there we go so we've gone outside and you can see that we actually have it spinning. Look at that. Looks actually pretty good. Looks a little tiny for this tower, but of course we can increase it. You can extend it out on the sides and add more wool and it'll create more power. And then you can see that this little gearbox is turning so you can take this and place it to anywhere you would like. Now, I recommend doing the little gear trick that I showed in, I believe it was episode two, uh, which should have popped up on the screen already. Um, talking about how to take this power and actually speed it up to create even more power. Now, I recommend doing that because you can see this is spinning, but it's pretty slow. I think a water wheel is even a little bit faster than this with only that much wool on there. Uh, so if you increase the wool and then took the gear trick with this, you could then use a speed controller and be able to slow the speed down and power a huge majority of your machines. Now, once again, that might have sounded like gibberish, so I recommend checking out that video where I talked about all about speed controllers and stuff like that and how to kind of manage your speed. But other than that, that is it for this video. A nice and short video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, I recommend joining the Discord because... Uh, we're basically have a huge community with create modders all in there and a lot of us are posting some cool designs i've actually been given a lot of tips and tricks from other people who are just fooling around with certain things uh also i want to say thank you guys so much for allowing me to hit 600 subscribers it means a lot that i'm at that amount and our next goal is 700 i could only dream that we would ever hit 700 i was hoping only for 10 views on our past couple videos and we've gone into the hundreds on them which is mind-boggling in itself but i just want to say thank you so much and i will see you guys all in the next video